As darkness fell over Ann Arbor on October 25th, 2008, it was impossible to see just how much everything had changed. Not only had the Spartans earned their first victory at the Big House in nearly two decades, but they had exacted revenge in a manner foretold by their bold new head coach. A defeat to Michigan the previous year was especially bitter for the Spartans because of two words in a post-game press conference that stung them and linger still. Now they got excited. It's, it's good. You know, sometimes you get your little brother excited when you're playing basketball and stuff. Let him get the lead. Sometimes you get your little brother excited. Your little brother excited. Your little brother. They want to mock us all they want to mock us. I'm telling them it's not over. But just remember, pride comes before the fall. The Spartans not only won the next four games in the series, they are eight and two against Michigan since Hart's quote. You know, it was true. We were a uh, little brother for a while. If there was a metaphor for what was happening in the series, that was probably it. Why did it strike a chord? You know, I don't know. I think maybe just the, the way he said it and that little smirk on his face, it gets you going. <laughs> We went 3-0 and when I was playing in that rivalry game, and I think a lot of that goes back to Coach D'Antonio. It's not over. It'll never be over here. It's just start. It's just start. It's just start. I think Coach D's response kind of created a, a resolve in the players. It's, you know, we got knocked down, but damn it, we're coming back. Three years ago, 10 indescribable seconds suggested that upside down had become the rivalry's new normal. When I say 2015 Michigan-Michigan State game, what do you think? Nothing. <laughs> and the ball is free! It's picked up by Michigan State! That game was uh, something that shouldn't have happened. It was a fluke of all fluke type of plays. And he scores on the last play of the game! All of a sudden, it's all mayhem, and it was just, you could hear a pin drop, and it was not a uh, pleasurable experience. That's kind of seemed to be the... Uh, the theme when I was there is that we were uh, messing stuff up and they just continually took advantage of it. Unbelievable! Some people just expect that it will turn, and it hasn't. And so I think as long as Coach D's doing the things he's doing, we have a pretty good shot. History is history for a reason. You know, winning this program, that's a big thing for us. Going forward in this rivalry, I do think Michigan will be coming out on top. In Michigan, over the decades since Little Brother, we've learned that while birth order never changes, sometimes you get your little brother excited, let him get the lead. The balance of power can. And then you just come back and take it back. Take it back. Take it back.